On this, let's speak to Hilal Elver. She's the UN Special Rapporteur on the right to food and she joins us from Bodrum here in Turkey. Good to have you on the programme. Now, as a UN Special Rapporteur, you focus very closely on, uh, on food security, um, food sovereignty in many war-torn countries. My colleague Sarah Firth just talked about Syria, but in other countries, what are you seeing? Yes, one of the major roles as a special rapporteurs be are going to countries that see in the local level what's going on. For instance, a few months ago, I was in Zimbabwe. And when I saw the catastrophic food insecurity, I was a very, I was not surprised, but I was really uh, impacted by uh, the problems of the economic sanctions, problems of the climate change, problems of the uh, dysfunctional governments, economic problems, how it came together that created a, a, a serious human catastrophe. So that's, that was one of the way that we are doing. In this country is food sovereignty, let alone, we don't even talk about it because six, more than 60% of the population are uh, food insecure. That's what the report that you were mentioning before, um, dealing with the countries that they are already uh, significantly food insecure places. And Hilal, right now, we don't know how much the coronavirus pandemic has affected food security. Um, but what changes have we seen? What do we know? Uh, well, of course, uh, uh, first of all, we didn't have a, a very p perfect uh, food uh, systems. Uh, there was a problem among the countries, developing countries and developed countries, net uh, food importers and the food exporters countries, they have all a different kind of ways to deal with the food security. So um, on top of this, we have a serious kind of uh, health problem. And this health infrastructure, obviously, in uh, countries like uh, in uh, Africa or Middle East or the Latin America, not as strong as Europe. We saw in the, even in the Europe, the uh, health system was not able to respond and think about it, countries that they are already uh, infrastructure is not uh, strong strong enough how they respond to this health crisis, let alone seriously coming to food crisis, which it is coming, it's very clear, already there in some parts of the world. And what can the UN do, what can governments do to, to prevent any uh, food security issues? Well, uh, UN and all global community has to do several things. For instance, already they started General uh, uh, Secretary General uh, ask a global uh, um, a peace uh, a ceasefire extremely important. And also we have to do the debt release for uh, countries that they are under the serious threat, uh, not the serious, serious debt uh, international. That's also important. And also the countries that uh, food exporters, basically these are big countries, secure. Uh, sometimes they are trying to limit their uh, exports to net importer. This is a very bad, of course, because we need the solidarity and the, the other the countries that they are not self-sufficient uh, should be really uh, protected. The national governments uh, are, of course, the major responsibles because right to food is a human rights and the governments are uh, gi givers to the people, especially in emergency situation. And local governments and also national governments have uh, different responsibilities and they have to work uh, together to deal with this uh, severe issues. All we have responsibility, individuals, local, national, and uh, global. Okay. Hilal Elver, uh, UN Special Rapporteur on the Right to Food. Thank you very much indeed.